Hello, this is Paul from QuickenMobile.com, and in this video, we in a previous video did down unloading from a truck. We're going to put this Electra 7 power foldable wheelchair. Now, the Electra 7 it weighs only 50 pounds without the batteries, 58 pounds with both batteries, but 58 pounds or 50 pounds is 50 pounds. We're going to load it into the back of a truck. We're going to do two methods. First we're going to show you the Vulcan lift. This Vulcan lift, it weighs just 24 pounds and it lifts up to 110 pounds. And then we are going to use a ramp system to go ahead and load the Electra 7. Before we start, great opportunity to pause the video to learn where to find us online, quickendmobile.com. You can find a lot more information about the Electra 7, the Vulcan, and many other chairs as well. QuickNMobile.com on your phone or on your computer. Okay, great. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do stuff like this on a regular basis. Consistently, we make brand new videos demonstrating and showing your favorite medical mobility equipment and how to use the equipment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the Vulcan and the Vulcan has lockable wheels. So we'll go ahead and get everything in a way that works very well here. And I'm going to position the Vulcan kind of with my eye just a little bit behind the actual bed of the truck. And then I'll probably just lock down a couple of those wheels so the Vulcan doesn't go slipping and sliding around. You can do that just as easily with your shoe as well. You have the ability to strap the chair in. I'm going to be very cautious. I'm going to be very careful. So I'm not going to use the strap option, but I will fold this chair up and I will just bring the chair over gently get the chair on the actual ramp or the lift and I'm going to make certain that I've got enough space so that the joystick does not run into the truck or I'm just going to lift the arm up to make certain it doesn't hit the tailgate of the truck. Once I do that, I'm going to make certain that I have the controller in my hand, which I do, and very gently you can see the chair goes up. You can see that I have stabilizer wheels on either side of that Vulcan lift. Now just words, words to the wise, I would always advise strapping the chair in. If there was an accident, it could cause an injury or it could damage the chair or it could damage the vehicle. The, the three of those you don't want. You can see that the lift provides additional stability as the lift lifts up and once we get the lift all the way to the top I can just kind of slide this right into the pouch on the side put this back down and I can slide the chair actually into the truck so I will go ahead and move this lift out of the way for now just as quickly as the lift went to the up position it can go to the down position and like I said it's just 24 pounds so it's pretty light and the next thing that we'll do is the chairs already in freewheel so we're going to work with a lift or a ramp I should say lifts ramps got them both we actually have the Vulcan lift available on our website this, this ramp here is something that Quicken Mobile does not sell. So you could go to search for a lightweight perioscopic ramp. This is six feet tall. Each one of these weighs approximately 11 pounds. We were actually sent this as a sample. So you can see how this ramp actually works. Just slides. And we can see on the bottom of the ramp that you have that material so it's not going to slip and slide out of the way quite so easily. So now I have the ramp lined up and in the previous video I kind of discussed that you would really want to 
use something like this more with a truck or a van because a sport utility vehicle is, is not really going to cut it. And let's take a look really why. So you see how the, the chair's folded and you see the wheels. The front wheels are not making contact with the ground. That's not necessarily good. So the chair itself needs to be in freewheel and opened. And you can see what the front wheels are doing. So I'm holding the chair up and I'm kind of getting on the side of the chair. It does take a little bit of core strength and I am easing the chair down the ramp. And I'm gonna line the ramp up a little bit better. Going up, you can go back up and I can push the chair up. Okay, that's a little bit of a challenge, but I was able to do it. So if I am in a caregiving role, that might be a lot easier. If I'm utilizing a ramp and I want to not strain so much, I'm going to turn the joystick on and I'm going to turn the power all the way down and I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to go a, little, a few inches forward so those wheels swivel around. I'll go back. You can see how the wheels swivel. So I'm going to swivel the wheels forward and then I'm going to very gently kind of pulse the chair up. I don't want to go too fast, but people ask, does the chair go up? Sometimes the wheels spin a little bit, so I still need to push. And I am kind of gently pushing. I've got the chair up, and now all I have to do is just fold the chair. Of course, turn the joystick off first, because if the joystick's on, it won't go in freewheel. Fold the chair, put it in freewheel, scoot it up, lock the chair, and there I go. And then I just need to address the ramp. So we can kind of see how that circumstance looked, how that was. You get an idea of both using a Vulcan lift or using a lightweight ramp. More information about the Vulcan lift or the chairs and many other devices is available on quickandmobile.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel welcome to subscribe to our channel for consistent updates.